coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good morning and happy Saturday. We've made it to the weekend, but unfortunately we have a chance of rain to deal with as we get our weekend started anyways. Now, when you look at this icon, it is a little deceiving. It's not going to be raining all day. We have some dry time this morning, and I think we'll have some dry time this afternoon, but it's a good day to have the Storm Team 10 weather app because we will have scattered showers and thunderstorms both this morning and probably as we get into the evening, so that way you'll be able to track them if you're headed out and about today. It is going to be a warm day, though, with highs in the upper 70s. Uh, cold front's coming through. That's what's going to bring those thunderstorms because tomorrow we're down to 68 degrees, but tomorrow should be the drier day of the weekend. Now, as you look at temperatures right now, fairly comfortable start. 60 degrees in Terre Haute at 65 in Newton and Vincennes. Floor is at 64. Washington is at 63 and 59 right now in Rockville. Now, the wind's going to be picking back up, so unfortunately it's going to be another breezy day. Currently at 15 miles per hour in Brazil, 13 in Linton and Mattoon, a 10 mile per hour breeze in Effingham, and it's currently 9 miles per hour in Paris. So this is going to strengthen as we get into the afternoon. We could be talking wind gusts as high as 30 to 35 miles per hour, so get ready for another windy day. But as we get into our day planner, again, it's not going to be raining over the course of the entire day. We'll see those temperatures steadily climbing into the 70s by the time we get towards noon. Mid 70s by the afternoon. I'm expecting daytime highs to make it into the upper 70s. But as we get into the afternoon, and especially this evening, that's where we're going to have to start to watch out for the potential of scattered showers and thunderstorms, though there could be a few showers out there this morning. Here's a current look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. Again, there's no activity right now, all nice and quiet across the Wabash Valley. But as we zoom out, you can see showers making their way across central Illinois right now. This is leftover activity from last night. There was some several tornadoes out across the plains, and this activity is starting to make its way towards the Wabash Valley, but it's on a weakening trend as it comes in. We've seen the cloud cover increase over the course of the morning hours, so this is going to be one of the key factors as we get into our severe potential later on today. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center has most of the News 10 viewing area and a slight risk for severe weather. That's level 2 out of 5. Damaging wind gusts would be the main concern that we're watching out for, and this is going to be as we get into the evening hours. So as I mentioned, that line of showers is going to be one of the key factors in this system. Here's Futurecast, and it brings in this line of showers, especially across our Illinois communities. As we get later on this morning, it kind of fizzles out as it approaches the state line. So if it breaks down, that's going to help the atmosphere recover, so we don't necessarily want to see that. The other key factor for today, if we see any sunshine. We'd like a little sunshine for the weekend, but today we would hope to stay under mostly cloudy sky because that will help limit some of our severe potential. So here's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see a few of those showers starting to develop. But then as we get into the evening hours, that's when we're going to start to see more of those showers and thunderstorms fire off. This is 6 o'clock tonight. As we get to 8 o'clock, we see more of that activity. It'll become more widespread as that cold front approaches. So here we are at 10. A lot of this activity is starting to push its way out of the Wabash Valley. By 11, we're still seeing some lingering showers and thunderstorms, but after that, it should clear out of the area. So the main time frame that we're going to be concerned with some of those stronger storms is going to be from about 6 o'clock tonight to about 11 o'clock. Once we get into the overnight hours, we'll start to clear out a little bit, and Sunday's looking a lot more quiet. Here you are at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine, but then we'll see some clouds coming in later on today. So your forecast for today, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures topping out at 78 degrees. Of course, should any of those storms turn severe, Storm Team 10 will be here with updates on air and online. Wind gusts, though, size 30 miles per hour. Then tonight down to 55. Again, showers and storms early, then we'll clear out remaining breezy, though. As we get into Sunday, another breezy day. Cooler but more seasonable with a high in the upper 60s. As we look at the next seven days, some sunshine for Monday, more showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, and then we're back in the 60s next week.